back to my channel my name is Izzy Bihange if you haven't subscribed yet please do not forget to subscribe and uh, ring the notification bell so that every time we release a new video you are the first person to be notified so today we're back again with another beautiful video and uh, it was supposed to be about insecurities but it seems like people here in China they don't know what insecurities are or we just don't have any <laughs> So I decided to give the camera to you strangers to ask me any question and this is how it went. Hello. Hey. How are you? I'm awesome. How are I'm you? I'm okay too. What Hi. is your name? My name is Uzubi Hange. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Where are you from? I'm from Botswana. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's nice. Where you are now? I'm in China. Uh -huh. What are you doing in China? I'm a student, PhD student in management science and engineering, majoring in risk management. Wow, okay, that's great. Well, uh, are you married or single? I'm super you know, single. <laughs> oh, you're still single? Okay, so that means I, I still got a chance. I still got a chance, okay. Um, uh, so I'm gonna ask you a series of questions. Uh-huh. Ready? I'm ready. All right. So, what gave you an idea of coming to China? Ah, oh, that's an interesting question. Um, one of the major reasons why I came to China was self-discovery. I just, I was at a point where I needed to discover myself. I needed to figure out what I want to do with my life. And I felt like it was a good idea to come to a country with a totally different culture and different mindsets, different everything so that I could challenge myself. And yeah, <laughs> another one was because I couldn't find a job. So yeah, just that come. The same thing that I guess everybody would be uh -huh. <laughs> hoping for. Okay, second question is why are you still super single? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't tell you that I'm still super single, but anyway, <laughs> <laughs> it's a choice. I haven't met the one, even though I don't believe that the one exists, but yeah. <laughs> What's well, a sad story? Uh, it is. Happiest moment of your life? Um. When I got a call from the embassy, from Botswana, yeah, telling me that I'm coming to China, I was happy. I was screaming and shouting, telling everybody, oh my goodness, I'm coming to China. I think that was the happiest moment because I saw beyond just going to China. Yeah, and that links to that question of why I came to China, self discovery and hope. I was happy that I was finally going to discover myself. <laughs> okay, uh, second to last question. Mm -hmm. What inspired you to start blogging on YouTube? Uh, what inspired me? Hmm, quite a number of things. I've always wanted to start a YouTube channel because of who I am, the music that I listen to, the things that I watch on YouTube. Mm -hmm. I tend to watch a lot of psychological stuff and my channel, <laughs> yeah. And I've been told that my music is sad so that is just who I am. It reflects on who I am because even the questions that I ask the in most cases thought provoking, the psychological somewhat. Yeah. Oh, wow. And I don't see myself just vlogging about my life. Oh my goodness, this is me. I went to eat. I want to do this and that. I just want to Yeah, to do something that has an impact in people's lives. That is why I started it. That's quite interesting. <laughs> Probably I'll watch more of your vlogs this time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, uh, <laughs> Finally. Last question, last question. Mm -hmm. um, what's your ideal target with YouTube and vlogging? Like with, for example, subscription, views, likes, dislikes, yeah. comments, <laughs> all the above. Well, I like that question because um, I'm somewhat new and I don't have a lot of following and a lot of people come to me they ask me this question why don't you have a lot of following you're not serious you're not promoting yourself enough and I tell them that you know what this is not about following it's about me getting the message out there and whoever is going to be interested they're going to find it so I don't really care much about subscriptions and I 
I'm not on other social media platforms like Instagram and Facebook and yeah the same people came to me they're like no you can't be on YouTube and not have other social media accounts because that is where you can have a lot of traffic blah 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 and I'm like no <laughs> I'll do that when the time is right but right now I just don't want to deal with that mm. yeah so what matters is just getting the message across to the people to the relevant people because not everybody's going to be interested in my content okay yeah <laughs> an extra question oh my god another one yeah, <laughs> keep one. them coming keep them coming an extra one yeah mm-hmm. um i hope i'm your best interviewer today am i you are <laughs> <laughs> your questions are quite challenging <laughs> and that is something that i like to do yeah i hope you like me too i do <laughs> all right uh hi Uzaki. hey what do you find inspiring in life? Oh my goodness, what a question. <laughs> what like what inspires you to live, to be alive? Uh, pain. Pain. <laughs> like uh, I've been through so much pain to a point where when I see other people going through pain, I just don't want that for for them. Oh. Yeah, I just want to see people so happy. You want to be a savior. So I am a savior actually. Oh. <laughs> Nice. Nice. I act like one, but I want to stop because it's a little too much. Sometimes I put other people's nets. It takes a lot for mine. You. Yeah. That's nice. So, where would you like to see yourself in ten years? <laughs> oh my god, that's a deep question. Um, where do I see myself in ten years? Well, huh, I see myself being successful and not just being successful for myself but also for my family and other people i see myself putting smiles on people's faces and uh, one of the things that i would like to see happening is girls and guys of course (laughs) having confidence in themselves like being authentic and believing in themselves, accepting the, 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 themselves for who they are. So I want to uh, start some sort of an empowerment group that is going to let people know that you are enough and you are beautiful just the way you are. And uh, yeah, you just have to be comfortable in your own skin because I believe that there will always be somebody prettier than you, smarter than you, more successful than you. But the sooner you uh, accept yourself for who you are, you're gonna be happy. I mean, I just wanna see people being happy and um, having inner peace, just being the true, authentic self. Yeah.